generations of writers were scared of what he might say. Reich Ranitzky has been dubbed the Pope of Literature here in Germany. He looks back on a long and often painful life. Du fährst in das Land der Kultur. Weißt du? Das Land der Kultur. In 1929, a Jewish-Polish schoolboy set off from Warsaw for Berlin, where he was to learn German. It was a fateful day in the life of Marcel Reich, who would later become a literary pundit and TV star in Germany as Marcel Reich Ranitzky. His autobiography was a hit when it came out in 2001. <laughs> When you work on a book for a long time, you think filmmakers will ruin everything, destroy it all, etc. Well, that's not what happened. They didn't ruin anything. But what's most important, and I must tell you this, is that I did not interfere. His father was Polish and his mother German. His story is interwoven with the darkest chapters of the 20th century with the Second World War, the Nazi persecution of the Jews, and the tragic fate of Poland, but also with post-war West Germany, the democratic Germany, the land of culture. Israeli director Dror Zahavi made the film of his early life for TV. I got to know him. I'd read his biography. But in person, he was very gentle, extremely vulnerable, very sensitive. I related to him immediately, to his life, the conflicts he had with different ideologies, his sense of being torn between countries and homelands. When Marcel Reich arrived in Berlin as a child, he spoke Polish. He had to work hard to master German. His mother loved German literature and made him read aloud to her every day. He hated it. My mother once said to me, just wait and see. The day will come when you will choose to read German books. I said, no, never. That will never happen. I didn't believe it. Then, well, it became my profession to read German books and to write about German books. In 1938, the Nazis sent Polish Jews back to Poland. The following year, the Nazis invaded Poland. Reich Ranitzky was in the Warsaw Ghetto and married Teofila Langnas there. He was involved in resistance efforts. Playing the young Reich Ranitzky was a challenge for actor Matthias Schweighofer. This work made clear to me how one can become a certain kind of person, how one can become such a demanding person who tries to figure out just how strong other people are and is argumentative and determined. If you survive something like that, a hell like that, which it truly was, completely unimaginable, then you have the right to challenge others to be like that. 400,000 Jews were forced into the Warsaw Ghetto. Most were eventually deported to Treblinka and murdered. He and his wife managed to go underground in Warsaw, hidden by non-Jewish Poles, and then liberated by the Soviet army. There's a lot you can learn from his extraordinary life story about the history of Germany and the Third Reich, and also about Jews, German Jews and Polish Jews. Also, being a Jew in Germany and dealing with one's history, and at the same time, loving the German language and German literature. This love determined Reich Ranitzky's life after the war. He made a name for himself in literary circles in Poland, then in West Germany, as a critic. Man hat mich vor ihnen gewarnt. Reich Ranitzky still hopes to reach a large audience. Ich wollte, 
I want people in Germany to know what happened in Poland, in Warsaw, during the war. I want them to know.